for most of our life we we live we base our life on ups and downs right believing that if we have positive data okay data is thoughts emotions sensations experiences people places things just take everything into data on the talk it was points of view we speak now data okay so we based our well-being on what kind of data we have what kind of thoughts and emotions we're having right now if we have positive thoughts then we feel happy we feel we are in the right track we have it we got it we are there <laughs> we arrived and if we have negative thoughts that's immediately something that we need to get rid of it's it says something about us it means something about who we are it's it's horrible like we have to do something about it we have to get rid of it um, or maybe some people trying to neutralize it by hmm, let's <coughs> let's see the good meaning it has <laughs> you know um, let's go deeper let's try to find the source of this grief or sadness or anger or fear that we're having right now probably it has a positive meaning that I overlook now but I'll find it so we are trying to find it we're, we are digging and digging and digging trying to find what is the cause of this negative thought that I'm having now and why why it's repeating itself many times like why do I have it all the time feeling not appreciated can relate to it feeling not good enough who can relate to that it can oh great thank you thank you for your openness right <laughs> feeling the best person in the world do you feel that too <laughs> sometimes <laughs> those who are humble will not put that <laughs> afraid from arrogance and pride but you know you see we cannot avoid the the thoughts and emotions they're all over the place <laughs> one day we wake up we don't feel good <laughs> we feel really like we just wanna everything is pointless did you ever have that feeling everything is like what do we do here okay I'm living today dying tomorrow this is life that's it well I have some happiness sometimes I have some sadness great <laughs> kind of a mellow experience a mellow morning where we feel hmm, empty empty next day or maybe during the day when we take a snooze we wake <laughs> up and we feel like <coughs> wow it's amazing <laughs> life is just like really good it's everyone everything is one everything is just so great one for sure not two one and we love it we love the sensations of it we are kind of we just want to maintain it we don't want it to go away so we try to to keep it in place maybe meditate on it or try to think what happened maybe I need to take snooze every day <laughs> <laughs> you know maybe I need to I don't know maybe it's it's because I'm in love I'm so in love and oh it's that person that might be him I found my match I found the one everything is one but I find I found the one <laughs> <coughs> so we are kind of we are just we are just focusing on the one we don't know which one <laughs> the one of the universe or the one as a person but we are in love and we are just we have it we're feeling so appreciated <laughs> so happy everything is wisdom kind of and we don't need even to close our eyes for that we, because we, we have it, we have it all. So, okay, so let's, let's go back to the day. We continue our day with the blissful state, right? And then someone, we just go to the shop <coughs> and buy, um, what do we usually buy? Milk for chai. <coughs> and someone is in the queue just, you know, take our, take our space and 
they're kind of pissed off. You know? <laughs> we are in the blissful space. Blissful, we, are, we, are, we are having it, for sure. But we are pissed off. And, but we're still in the one, OK? So we are, we are trying to, um, uh, we see that we are annoyed by that. And we, we can't figure it out. You know, it's, it doesn't match the, bliss, the blissful state. And we are annoyed and we are angry. We say something that we're s we just we just say something that really like what what do you <coughs> think to yourself? You know, I was standing here. Then we kind of it it it's it's with our mind. Like we think about that, we cannot stop about thinking about okay, we had this blissful state and now I'm just pissed off. So how do I so we try to okay, cultivate compassion, right? Let's Let's relax, let's cultivate compassion, let's think about this person as the one. Let's relax and let's, let's cultivate, okay, what is good about that person? So we are trying to really not feel and not think what we are thinking because it means something about us. It means that we are out of this blissful state and we are not in the blissful state and we just want to be in all the time. So that's kind of day, that's an example of one day, which I just mentioned a few examples of the day, of living a life under ups and downs, you know? Positive, negative. Neutral, mellow, positive, negative. And that's what we believe. We take all of our thoughts and emotions to mean something. We believe they have power over us. We really believe that if we have positive thoughts, that everything is good, and if we have horrible thoughts, that everything is bad. No matter what is our philosophies about life and what we <coughs> take ourselves to be and how positive and optimistic we are, we still sadly believe <coughs> that this needs to change, that that needs to change. And until it will not change, we will keep looking, we'll keep seeking. We we'll keep seeking for that state. Now here in, in the Balanced View Training, we, we are introduced to something about us that is entirely stable, indestructible. And it's natural for us, OK? It's, it's innate to each one of us. And to be introduced to it, stop thinking. Just for a moment, what remains? <coughs> Openness, alertness, the power to know, the power to know everything. This is open intelligence. What's looking through your eyes, whether they're closed or open. <coughs> What's listening to these words? That's the power to know. Okay, so that's just the introduction to recognize what is at the basis of everything, all our thoughts, emotions, sensations. And immediately they come, they come back, right? We have thoughts, we have feelings right now. We cannot really hold, not, sti not stopping thinking in place. It's okay. We can let ourselves think. And our thoughts and emotions, our sensations, also when we start thinking, open intelligence is present. You see, whether we are thinking or we are not thinking, whether we open our eyes or close our eyes, open intelligence is naturally present. It's natural. It's, it's the most natural thing about us. We don't need to look for it. So we can just relax. <laughs> we can just relax with everything as it is. So this is the introduction to the nature of our mind. And now the practice is. That was the introduction, and the practice is short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until the recognition becomes obvious at all times. What that means is that when, whenever we remember to do so, during the day, during our snooze, during our positive, negative thoughts, we take a short <coughs> moment of completely relaxing body and mind, just as we are. I know it sounds simple, but it's not always easy. That's why we gain confidence. We gain assurance in the power 
to rely on open intelligence. <coughs> Sorry for that. So we, whenever we remember, we take a short moment of, even right now, okay, you don't need to wait for being in your room, sitting on a cushion, closing your eyes, being in your pyjama. You can take a short moment just as you are, with whatever you do, whatever you don't do, whether you're bored, miserable, really pissed off in the shop, uh, with your girlfriend, when you want to help to say how much she loves you and she doesn't, where you um, feeling unappreciated with your kids. So all these op opportunities, all these circumstances, they, they, they give that opportunity to rest naturally as we are. You see, we don't have to do anything with that. If we continue to look for reasons for what we are feeling, indulge in our data stream, speaking with others to try to find some kind of relief. It might give us some kind of relief. Kind of, oh, I'm understood. Oh, someone understand me. They love me. I, I can justify myself. Then it will come back again. It will not resolve what we are thinking and feeling. Maybe for the instant with our friend, we feel loved and understood, but then it will come back again. And then maybe we try to, some of us try to replace our thoughts with positive thoughts. <coughs> so in a short moment, we don't do that either. We rest naturally with negative thoughts too. Rest as the negative thoughts, feeling like we are getting older. Everything is going to end. Moment to moment, open intelligence, resting with everything as it is. Resting doesn't mean being passive, not doing anything, being kind of, eh, chill out, all is good, cool. You know, it's not, it's not about a passive state. It's, it's really um, all the energy we spent on focusing on everything else and doing something with that, it releases into the power to be of benefit to all, to really activate uh, gifts and talents, to, to speak in ways that are beneficial, to really rely on wisdom rather than rely on our, what we feel and what we think right now and right now and right now. It's, it's that openness of mind. It's complete perceptual openness. It does not rely on our thoughts and emotions, but it does not avoid thoughts and emotions. You see? Because trying to avoid will be just too complicated. So we want to rest as that and gain confidence in that. And in the Balance View training, we have the foundation training, which called the 12 empowerments, where what I said before, short moments are simple but not easy, and that's what the 12 empowerments supports us to gain complete assurance in our power to rest as everything as it is and to know what is of most benefit moment to moment. You know, like, I always wanted to have a balanced view. I always wanted to have clarity. You know, I knew what will be good to do, but it was such a gap. It was such a gap between what I thought I should do to my expense. I was always hoping I will do it right, but I didn't make it. I didn't know how to make it. Even if many people told me what the right thing to do. Even <coughs> if I knew what the right thing to do. Even if my mom told me what the right thing to do. And I had all the reasons to do that thing that will serve me and my life. Still, I found it hard to take action. Sometimes I felt not motivated. Sometimes I felt depressed and sad and not stable enough. Or sometimes I felt I'm getting crazy with all this overwhelm of thoughts and emotions. So to have direct access to the nature of our mind in every single moment is essential, essential to, to, to live a life of complete benefit where every single moment is, is, is open and pure and beneficial that we can be of service, service in the most natural way, you know, do things with our <laughs> body rather than you know, just always thinking that we need to fix our body or fix our mind. You see, all this energy can be utilized 
and be of service for the benefit of all. And it's such an example to be here at the center where we see it's just happening. And so the 12 empowerments are that. They give all the support and the means to recognize open intelligence at all times, to harmonize all relationships, firstly with yourselves, with ourselves, with all the negative data streams that we were so afraid to really open to and <coughs> feel. And then we see, okay, we have something about us. So immediate, immediate, not like a year, <laughs> a day. It's spontaneous, instantaneous, short moments of tapping into that stability and gaining assurance and confidence, natural confidence, not this cultivated confidence of, oh, I'm so confident today, Ooh, look at me, I'm so stable. It's the confidence of being alive and facing everything in life in a clear way, in a way that we can deal with illness, with death, with aging, with circumstances that are so unpredictable because everything is unpredictable. Even if we have the most beautiful mind and we think we are so great and so positive <coughs> and nothing can harm us and we are kind of detached from the world, we never know what will happen. So what we truly want is to get real, to live in reality, not to be isolated from reality in order to maintain our identity. We want to connect. We want to feel the warmth of, of living. Uh, we want to deal with situations in a way that will be really beneficial and effective and powerful. So that's what we offer here.